It comes as a complete surprise, but guess what? I've managed to find a couple of days unfilled on the family calendar, which means I can go for a sneaky local sale. And I know just the destination. Nice, quiet and a short day sail away. Well, good morning. As you can see, we're back out on the water today and I'm just moored on a buoy in the cat down and welcome to another Arwen's Meanderings. The aim today is to sail all the way around to the Elm, overnight in the Elm and then have a potter back. So it's an overnight trip tonight. So we've got galley box and sleeping gear on board along with the tarpaulin for the boom. Uh, weather today is going to be great actually it's going to be about 22 degrees celsius plenty of sunshine winds are going to be northerly all day north or northwesterlies um, so that makes it a nice um, exit out of the sound and they're going to be around about uh, 12 12 knots 13 knots for uh, somewhere up that mark and then tonight they die down slightly down to about seven or eight but we should be sheltered tomorrow could be uh, a bit tricky um, because the wind literally shifts from west southwest right around to east northeast right back around um, again so that was the far forecast this morning but again around about um, the 7 to 12 knots mark so uh, tide uh, is outgoing now it was high tide at seven o'clock and it's a big spring tide so there we go welcome aboard and uh, let's go and have another day pottering around Plymouth Sound just adjusted the sails whilst I was on that mooring over there and I moved the top yard halyard loop ring further towards the forward end of the yard and I've adjusted the downhaul tackle which seems to have sorted out the top yard and sprit boom raising them higher. I'm hoping it's going to sort of get rid of my semi-permanent diagonal mainsail crease um, so all in all it's a good start to the day. I think things are going to be a bit faster today um, with the wind. Uh, there are gusts up to 17 or 18 and we may well um, reef actually. Um, we'll see how we do when we get out there. Um, I normally sail in um, fairly sedated winds so we'll have to um, wait and see. Jenny Cliff Bay and 
uh, go up the side of Jenningcliff Bay and then along the breakwater and we'll head into Corsan Bay. these gusts they suddenly suddenly catch you unawares if you're not looking out the, the stern I'm gonna do a jive in a minute this should be fun Bringing most of the halyards back to the cockpit means there's a lot of different bits of string everywhere and most of it goes into these homemade halyard bags um, just behind here at the centreboard but I do need to trim some of them to a better length, it's on my to-do list. Well, the sail is setting so much better on the port tack than it does on the starboard one. Now, obviously, an intelligent skipper would know why. Sadly, I don't. Enough said, really, isn't it? The eagle-eyed amongst you will have spotted I've changed my mind and I'm now deciding to run back along the breakwater to exit on the eastern side. Now I know you're all expecting a good seamanship like reason for this change in passage plan and I'd like to give you one but I can't. I just changed my mind. It happens frequently as it so happens. No seals today. Sometimes they come out onto the ends of the breakwaters. Can't see any today though. Not unpleasant, you've just got to watch for those gusts. Not sure whether we're going to get into core sand. That wind just keeps going around and I know it spills down those valleys so every boat, I, every yacht I can see is not heading into Gorsad this morning we'll give it a go, I always like a challenge up ahead of us now is Penley Point and astern of us here you can see the Great Mewstone Island and beyond that is the entrance to the River Yelm on exercise.
Well, all hell broke loose a few minutes ago. I got hit by three sudden squally gusts and I nearly went over. Um, I've nearly lost one oar, swept off the deck, but thank God for the oar tethers. Um, the wind has suddenly picked up here, um, so it's hold on to your hat time, and I'm about to try and tack into the lee of Mount Edgecombe. Wind has suddenly dropped. It's that topography again, isn't it? Yep, dropped significantly. Okay, let's see if we can um, get ourselves into King's Sand. It's an outgoing tide, so I'm not 100% sure. If we can't, then we'll go around the corner to Penley and shelter in the Lee of Penley Point. Well, we've got here eventually, tad hairy, must admit, in the closing stages, very, very gusty. Um, and also the sudden realisation that actually they've put out swimming areas since I was last over here. So what I was hoping to do was to actually uh, go onto the beach and use my um, anchor buddy so I could get on and off the beach to go and get a coffee, but uh, I can't. Um, they've put a swimming area right the way around from the Core Sand Beach. That's, that is the Core Sand Beach over there and the swimming area comes all the way around, right around, over to this area here, which is King Sand. Didn't see that one coming. It's the way it goes. So I've just pinched someone's private boy for a few minutes um, and we'll regroup. Gusty not quite ready to reef yet, as long as you watch for the gusts. I've got a little inflatable tender on board and my idea, other idea, was to try and anchor in the shallows, pump her up on board and then paddle her in. Um, but with this stiff breeze, um, I'm never going to get back to the boat. I think it's time I invested in a canoe a sit-on kayak, a bit like that one. Really hot out here today. 
Hello. My German friend wants to know what your boat is. It's a self-built navigator, a, a John Wellsford design. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, it would in experienced hands. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in that case, you know my troubles. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it, have a good day. Everyone coming in, trying to find uh, a little bit of shelter for a bit, I think. Winds have gone around to the northeast. Um, so uh, that should make it uh, interesting. Heading for the Elm, but we'll see. Might be able to get a, a close reach in on that. I'm being very careful with my GoPros. This season I've become so much more confident about sailing off moorings like this. Um, I'm far less reliant on the outboard for the close manoeuvring stuff, which I guess is a good thing, isn't it? If you're a regular viewer, you may have noticed I've also moved the mainsail and jib cleats back from the cockpit to the base of the main mast and it's proving far easier to hoist the mainsail and it's keeping me fit as well, scrambling back and forth to, over the thwart to the bow. This wind is picking up again, it's definitely time to slip this mooring. taking an opportunity of a lull here to slip out under main and mizzen and it's going to need a few jibes I suspect to get clear. I hope you're going to join us for the next episode because we're going to be crossing a very gusty Plymouth Sound in Wembry Bay. Um, I suspect we're going to be travelling fairly fast. Anyway, we're heading off now to anchor overnight on Sellers Beach just upriver from the entrance to the Elm. In the meantime, hit the click subscribe button, hit the notification bell, download a playlist and join us on other voyages. Take care now. Thanks for stopping by and fair winds to you all. Happy sailing. <laughs>